Oh dear learners, let's study another creative solutions from the chapter mole and this is a very basic. You see in this table two groups are there and there are some data of different solute is given. So in the first group the solute is sodium carbonate and the mass of the solute is 39 gram. So it's given in gram. And the volume of solution is 1.5 liter so it's given in liter and the expected concentration of that solution is 0 0.26 and 0 0.50 so the, this is the expected concentration that is given in molar so this table has given some data so this is the creative questions what four set of questions are there so the first question is what is mole a very basic questions from this chapter you know that the amount of a chemical substance that contain as many as the Avogadro number of molecule which is 6.02 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 these number of molecules atoms or ions that is called mole the second question is same empirical formula can be applicable for many compounds so we know the molecular formula of benzene is C6H6 this is very common example and you know that the molecular formula of acetylene is C2H2 so the empirical formula of benzene would be again CH and the empirical formula of acetylene would be ch so you see that ch that is given the ratio of one is to one in case of benzene and acetylene so it is said that the ratio of carbon and hydrogen is one is to one in both compounds so benzene and acetylene are two different compounds but you see their empirical formula are same so we can say that same empirical formula can be applicable for many compounds this is a very simple example you can have more example also the C number question is explain the nature of the aqueous solution of the solute which is taken by second group so you know that the second solute is calcium chloride so if we add calcium chloride with water you know that calcium hydroxide which is known as lime water and hydrochloric acid will be produced so this calcium oxide is weak this is a weak base so it does not ionize fully in the aqua solution so calcium hydroxide will be like this but it does not ionize fully so this is weak base where hydrochloric acid this is a strong acid and ionize fully in the aqueous solution as a result after neutralizing hydroxide and this chloride like HCl is is dissolving like H plus and Cl minus this is fully strong acid so after dissolving this is base and this is acid there were some extra H plus will remain in the solution so we can say that the nature of the aqua solution would be acidic and the pH level should be less than 7 we know that this is strong acid this is weak base so as calcium hydroxide does not ionize fully in the aqua solution so hydroxide quantity would be less and proton would be much more there so we can say this is okay so this is solution would be slightly acidic now you think the fourth question that analyze the concentration level you see that how to analyze this think about the molarity of the first group that w is s is actually w times 1000 by mv you know the solution the equation is w is equal to s m v by 1000 you know it and this is the equation that we use in both cases so w by 1000 divided by m v 
Now you think sodium carbonate. The molecular mass of sodium carbonate is 106 and the calcium chloride it is 67. So uh, no actually it would be more because calcium chloride think about it sodium carbonate um, is one calcium chloride so calcium is 40 chlorine should be 35.5 times 2 so this is 71 so as it is 71 so we can say that 71 plus 40 this is 111 so you got that this is 111 so w of the first solute is mass 39 so we can say that 39 times 1000 m of sodium carbonate is 106 times v is 1.5 liter as it is liter we need to think about milliliter if it is liter then we should not use this 100 so what we got that 39 times 100 thousands divided by 106 times 1500 which is 0 0.245 245 molar in other case w w is uh, 67 67 times 1000 so we should not put 1000 here because we will use in case of v is 1.2 and m is 111 and if you use it it would be 0 0.5 molar now you think that second solute meet the expected concentration but the first one didn't meet the expected concentration it should be 0 0.26 molar but the molarity actually got 0 0.245 so we can say that the first group which is sodium carbonate did not meet the expected concentration so this data i mean these questions came out in dhagabot 2019 and you see how to uh, think if this type of data is given in table we must consider the molecular mass of the compounds which will be given in the question so think about it so where there is any type of creative questions from this chapter you must try to answer it properly because this is a mathematics and a mathematics is love if you do it if you love it you will have the essence of science so first solute second solute and these are the datas you see that what it did this 1000 we will use when this volume should be given in milliliter but here we got 1.2 liter and that we didn't put 1000 so we got 0 0.5 molar that meet the expected molarity in second solute but in first solute they didn't meet so we can say the analyzing of the concentration level that first group did not meet the expected concentration but the second group did so this is the type of answer of this question so i hope you understand the process how to do it and i think you are more faster than me to solve these questions as well as possible because if there is any mcq or multiple choice questions came out from this chapter i hope you would be able to answer it first so take care thank you so very much see you on the next video bye